Awesome. So, Bob and Kevin here again, family. We're on another property out here in Honduras. Um, and in the description, uh, and at the end of this video, I'll have more information for you. But House Hunting International. So we're all the way in La Ceiba, and uh, a place, uh, the, the region is called uh, Colonial. And uh, we met up with a couple out here from Texas, um, and other ones from Honduras, and they have uh, a, a few properties out here. So I told them I have family back in the States that's interested. These properties are nice, family. We're gonna go in and take a look at this one that used to be called the Iguana Bar. Um, they're fixing the, what they're doing with this property is they're fixing it up and then they're gonna sell it. Uh, the other property that we're looking at, which I'll show people, the, uh, the Nomads of Soul Resort, is the same thing that they're doing. So I'm gonna take a uh, look around here as we walk up. So uh, those that are viewing this can see uh, what type of investment they may make in this. Again, the people that uh, own this are fixing this up and they will sell it. So again, this will look a lot different, but this is right off the beach. Okay, family, right off the beach. We'll look down. And again, we'll get the prices uh, at the end of this and how many rooms it has. Uh, again, this looks like it, it was an iguana bar, so the people had their own little small resort here with a bar up here. And through the years, this is. <coughs> excuse me. Through the years of wear and tear. But again, as we know, the shift is taking place. A lot of people are leaving America and leaving UK to travel and explore. And so that's what this is about, raising awareness of the different places that's out here, um, you know, and different opportunities. Because again, it's cost efficient, family. You know, there's no reason at all you should be buying a $150,000 house in the United States. when you can come out here and get two homes for that same price, possibly three. And if you're spending it right, you can do five homes for that price you know, and, and still make your money back and provide ways for others. And so that's what we're, again, raising awareness about. This land has tons of trees on it. It has the two front spaces, the iguana bar and this room, this space right here. Then it has this back wooden space, which looks like a place where they rent it out for rooms, almost like a, a either a hostel or a resort aspect. So it looks like two, four, six seven rooms which is not bad at all um there's a resort that's a family reunion i'm gonna go upstairs and take a look at this they have this area caged off this must have been the area either where a car was parked walking up this wood wood has some wear and tear but they're gonna fix this deck again uh oh wow growing right in the trees so again, it's fruit all around us, family. Palms, there's hibiscus right there. That was the iguana bar. This is the upstairs wooden area, which leads to the rooms. We're gonna see if we can actually look in one of the rooms. Okay, I see a bathroom in here. Nice open wooden space. So yeah, a little fixer upper. And again, we'll get more information in regards to if they're gonna fix it up. Or if they're looking just to base, get the bases on it and then let someone else fix it up. Okay, all these rooms look like they're locked. There's another room, let's look inside. Of course, these will all be fixed up. Again, we're just showing out here in Honduras, family, there's a lot of empty uh, lands, there's a lot of empty plots. Um, again, when you compare purchasing land in the states to purchase, purchasing land outside the states, you have to think about it, family, in regards to the currency exchange. And then also in regards to uh, the saying, do you really own your land? Okay. Because, I mean, we're all paying taxes on land. That's for sure. I don't think anybody, unless you're off grid or unless you nobody knows about the house, I don't think anybody's paying uh uh, has a home that they're, they own and they're not paying taxes on. So, uh, with that being said, I mean, there's places out here where there there are some people that don't pay taxes on their home. What'd you say, Yaku? Huh? Yeah, it does. That, but see, that's what they're gonna do. That's what they're gonna do. That's what they do. They they, get, they find properties like this. They get them. They fix them up and they sell them. So that's what they do. Yeah, this is a hotel. There's seven rooms, seven rooms up there. This is a little deck area. 
This is the iguana bar, the restaurant area, and then that's another area where uh, they had, I guess, like a store or something. House here, totally redone. Okay. Oh, On demand, cool. everything. New roof, cathedral ceiling, right there. Okay. I'll let Ron explain it. Not anything up here. The hotel doesn't need a lot. The upstairs rooms are with, with the wood. You can take out walls, you can make one big condo and sell it. This could be a condo and sell. Okay. I need out of it though. Oh, so you, do you plan on refurbishing this or you just want to sell it as well, is with that one? If I can find somebody to take it, I was thinking of just selling the house off first and selling the money back. And how much are you looking for um, for those that may be watching it uh, in regards to the, the total property? For those that are maybe watching, how much are you uh, looking for for the total property? The total property as is right now, I think it's 195 Okay, 195 US? On the beach. Okay. Okay. It's 24 hours, 24-7 security. Uh, yep, they're ready to go. Okay. All right, you're out there for yeah, 195? Yeah, I mean, I was going to do it. It sold once, 260. Okay. But then she let it just go into disrepair. Okay. Uh, unsavory uh, folks here. But she got to the point where everything was so bad she was living in the hotel room, she sold it. Okay. You see a family. I, I was afraid she'd sell it to somebody that didn't right. people she was hanging with. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And right here off the beach, family. So the, for those that are interested, uh, go ahead and either inbox me, send me a, a link. Um, I'll put most of the information yeah, in the description. And then we'll get you in touch with uh, Mr. Ron, who's out here. But that lot's 100 feet from that corner to that wall over there. So okay. it's not this lot? No. No, this oh, is oh wow. Oh, so only that, those two lots. Right there. at the edge of the cement is the lot line, mm -hmm. the road, and then to that wall over there. Oh, there. Yeah. You okay. have to be oh, part of it wall. at one time, but then you got rid of this. Okay. Which is so a 50 that. foot lot. All right, so for the, the two buildings, oh, they're being for us. Two buildings, the bar. All right. Let's get that sold. So, House Hunter yeah. National yeah. Family out here in LaSable. Out here in the say we're just taking a look raising awareness for those that may be interested and get in touch with me and we'll uh, get you down we're also going to get other properties out Let's say we moved our search more so we'll get we're going to get other properties out as well and I love it family I love it brother sisters to be able to come out here and gosh you know save that 1800 a month rent save that 2000 a month rent you know and put it put it towards a $300 a month rent, $400 a month rent. Oh yeah.